Recording? Okay, we're recording now. Yes, we are. We are recording now. This is a documentary of the big giant T in my life. This is this is it, basically. Um, I reached a point in my life. I had to pick up a tape and document it. Um, but it, just in case you wanted to see what it looked like. I call it the big T. Okay? That's a T, right? This is me right here, aiming for my dreams. Right? As time progresses, I reached a point. Today, I've reached a point where it's either right or left. Okay? Left or right. Basically, I'm at, I'm at this point in life right now. Um, my mom basically told me yesterday to write a journal, and I really don't like writing journals, so I thought I'd do a video documentary. Um, but T stands for the day. Here's a story. I uh, basically, two years ago, I was talking to a girl named Samantha, right? I've known this girl since high school, but I just got back from Oregon, moved uh, over to, you know, back to Arizona. My brother said he had a studio, and this is my first apartment, of course, you know. So, you know, being me, Mr. Music Man, getting all about craziness with music, uh, I start playing music, start, you know, bringing girls over and everything like that. And, of course, you know, Sam, Samantha, uh, back in high school, she, uh, we start talking or something again, you know. And uh, this was only for like two weeks. We started talking. And, you know, there was connection, too. When we were talking, I took her out. And there's a lot, there's big stories, you know, of taking her out the first date and everything like that. But, you know, of course we had unprotected sex and, you know, from there on out, uh, the two weeks, you know, happened so fast or whatnot when we were talking and having sex and doing our thing, uh, she just completely took off. And I couldn't, you know, I, could, I couldn't communicate after that, but, you know, I was like, whatever, I'm living my life. I continued making music, I continued making films, okay, and uh, so now, uh, apparently, she got pregnant, and I was, uh, I would, I, you know, I asked her, you know, is it mine, and she kept on saying, no, it's not yours, you know, supposedly she was living with a guy, she was living with a guy, and uh, they were getting real serious. And uh, I guess there's just a lot of stories up in the air that that guy couldn't have any kids and as to why she, I think she was attempting to get pregnant. So, you know, that's when we started talking for the two weeks and uh, she basically told me she was on the pill or the shot, forgot which one it was, but I had unprotected sex with her. And uh, I don't know if she got pregnant with me and tried to, you know, stay with the other guy that she was in the relationship with. But it, the story is up in the air. You know, what's done is done. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't care what happened. Um, but I have been progressing. It's already 2010. That was 2008. This child has been born, um, and she has been raising it, you know. And I've asked her, too, if it's mine, you know, throughout the years. And she said no. Um, well, just recently, you know, this this is 2010. This happens to be one of the worst years financially on my end, but it happens to be one of the best years I've ever uh, shot out and uh, started working for uh, major film companies um, that are coming from Los Angeles to Arizona to shoot, you know, shows and this and that. Uh, you know, and I advertise too because I brag about where I'm at. So, uh, I don't know, she just contacted me one day and she said, you know, um, there's a lot, there's a lot involved. I ended up moving out of my mom's house, 
See, I don't even know what I'm going to say. You're, you're going to get the final story right now, because this is the T in my, my ending. This is the end of the story, because it starts. Another story starts right after this. The beginning. Um, I was living in the studio right next door to this house right here, right, where I met Samantha, and we started doing our thing. Oh, fuck, dude. What the fuck am I going to say? I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to say. Should I rewind the tape and just fucking just go from there? I, pro I should probably re rewind the tape, huh? <clears throat> yeah, rewind the fucking tape, dude. Still recording? Alright. Well, basically, dude, there was drama in the LBC. I'm not going to rewind this tape. I feel that you guys can edit whatever you want and put in later down the road if uh, you do put this in a uh, real theater and watch this shit. But uh, Documentary in my life, I tried to make a short story, fucking a long story short. Um, I, ooh, fuck, dude. I'm living in a, a condo right now, duplex, historic, you know, downtown Mesa. It's uh, January 20, well, fuck, dude. It's the 21st. Of uh, of October, it's D Day, T Day, capital T Day. Okay, um, I took a paternity test. Samantha got pregnant. Started pointing her fingers. I was doing my thing. I was rocking out. I was making. I was progressing as an artist. Uh, basically, I was getting out there, you know, media wise, and actually doing my own thing too. Um, I don't know if she blamed it on that, but. We started talking again, okay? I live on my own. I'm a single guy. I'm going to get to there. I keep on having everybody's buzzing me up right now because they want to know if I'm the father or not. I'm trying to sell the story, which I can't tell the story right now. It's so fucking hard. Um, shit. Uh, I live on my own. I'm a, I'm a single bachelor, you know, with a fucking studio, and I'm making shit every fucking every day, dude. I come home, I make shit, I put something out, I'm a producer, I do a lot of shit, you know, and uh, I started talking to, you know, girls, I started inviting them over, and what, what do you know, you know, I got in contact with Samantha again, Samantha, you know, says, hey, you know, how you doing, I got two kids, uh, but uh, I can't really go out, so one day I just decided to go over to her house, you know, and I wanted to just, you know, of course, I'm like thinking like every other man, I just want to have sex, you know? So I go over to her house and, you know, what do you know? We have sex all night. It's good sex, you know? But we, uh, we, I wake up, you know, I spend the night over there. And I understand the kids are there. Eliana, her little girl that, you know, I thought was mine. And she was there and I remember uh, waking up. And this is the first night, you know, we got kind of, you know, we started talking again. I woke up and I said, you want to go to breakfast or something? And uh, she said, yeah, you know, I'm like, well, you could bring the little kid too. You know, you can bring Eliana. You know, and I asked, I asked Samantha that day if she, if, if Eliana was mine. And uh, she said, no, you know, so I'm like, cool, whatever, you know. So I, uh, I t end up taking, you know, the mother and the daughter, you know, out to uh, breakfast. And the, you know, Eliana's only like, a year and nine months, you know, so I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, we'll get a little infant, you know, seat at the restaurant, you know, so uh, we end up going to a restaurant, we, we are eating breakfast, but she's, the, Samantha's just falling in love with me from there, you know, like, this guy's taking my daughter out, this guy's doing a whole bunch of stuff, he's doing, you know, he's, he's doing good stuff, you know, so I didn't know we ended up going back to her house. Well, we went to Target after the uh, the restaurant scene. We went to Target, and I remember walking around with uh, with little Eliana and uh, Samantha, and we were buying a birthday gift for somebody that Eliana was going to attend a birthday or something like that. And it was weird on my on my behalf, you know, walking around. But everybody commented on Eliana, and they said that uh, that's the beautifulest girl I've ever seen, you know. I've never seen so many comments in my life. A beautiful little baby, you know. It's hard not to fall in love with her. Um, 
So I was like, cool, you know, whatever, you know. She put her in a car seat, we ended up driving back home, and I was, you know, just staying there for the little remaining of the time in the morning. I was uh, sitting on a couch, you know, and she didn't have couches. I was sitting on a floor, and uh, Eliana just came up to me. She couldn't talk or anything like that, but she came up to me, and she just, uh, I was, oh, yeah, I remember sitting on, like, little, you know, plastic chairs. She had, like, temporary plastic chairs in the living room. Eliana crawled right through the uh, hole of the armrest or whatnot, and she crawled on me, and uh, she put her head on my chest. Everybody's bogged, dude, four messages already, they want to know. She put her head on my chest, and uh, Samantha just dropped her jaw from there and looked at me, and she's like, oh my god, you know, um... Like, I'm falling in love with you or something like that. It was kind of like that look. And I was just talking to her. I'm like, I'm going to let your daughter do your thing. Um, but, you know, I didn't know what to do. You know, I thought I was playing dad at that point. Uh, I took off, you know, I, I had to go. Another day went, you know, another week went by, and I called Sam and Samantha, and I asked her, you know, hey, what are you doing tonight? She's like, well, I got the girls, you know. They're here, so I can't really go out. She never goes out because she got, you know, two kids. So I'm like, all right, well, can I come over? You know, booty call, whatnot, doing all my thing, doing my thing and shit like that, you know. Um, I end up driving back to her house. We have sex again. I wake up, and um, I ended up leaving, you know. And I don't know if she got pissed off because I left and I wasn't, you know, providing anything or didn't, know, you know, do this or that. I'm not trying to be an evil person. I'm not trying to be a bad person or anything like that. But I ended up taking off. Um, and uh, from there, I didn't talk to Sam after that. I gave it about a week. And then she started texting me all of a sudden. And I'm talking psycho text, like blitzing me off like fucking... You know, from right to left. Uh, guess what, Joe? I'm sorry to tell you, but Eliana is yours. And I was just tripping out. I was like, well, what are you talking about? You know, that's my kid? It is my kid. You know, and she's just like, I'm sorry to tell you, but it is, it is your kid. You know? I didn't know what to think. I was getting gigs from Discovery Channel. I just got done working with Justin Bieber for a show, uh, Shaq vs. Bieber. Met Shaq and all that. And I didn't know if this lady was just trying to fucking screw me over. So I kind of got mad. I got pissed off. I'm like, that ain't my kid. You know, that ain't mine. That girl's not mine. And I thought she was just in, so in love with me because I played the dad role when I went over. We started talking again. I did play the dad role, and that's my mistake for fucking doing that shit. Um, she started pointing her finger, and she's like, that's going to be your father, you know? So I'm like, fuck, you know? Uh, well, it turns out I stopped talking to her for a little bit, and I just ignored her for like a month. And I said, I'm not going to do this shit. You know, I don't believe you. So I started doing my thing, and all of a sudden, you know, I start progressing in my dream because I ain't trying to get my 10,000 hours of practice and focus on my craft. So I start progressing in my dream, and then all of a sudden, you know, boom, guess what? I get another call from Samantha. Samantha's like, you know, hey, we need to talk this over because Eliana's yours. And I ignore her, you know, again, for one month. I start going back to work doing what I do, what I love doing after my so-called working for the man job from 9 to 5. I get home and I start making music. I produce. I do a whole bunch of shit. Make films. Well, I start progressing doing that. You know, I'm throwing out fucking songs from right to left. I'm getting gigs with Discovery, you know. And then, boom, guess what? Right when I start advertising saying, hey, I just got a fucking gig or I just put a new song out. They're hitting me up like crazy. Guess who calls me? Samantha. What does she say? Hey, guess what? We need to talk. Eliana is yours. So I said, fuck, dude. I'm just going to start talking to you right now. We're going to get this over with. 
I said, how do you have proof that she's mine? She said, the pictures and your baby pictures look exactly like her. Right? So I'm like, uh, you know, they kind of do look similar, but I'm asking a bunch of people, too, at the same time. I'm like, do my pictures look exactly like her? And some people say yes, and some people say no. And I was just so skeptic. Um, there's so many stories. I asked Sam, like, how do you know? She's like, I went to a psychic, and the psychic told me um, that, you know, I have to tell you that Eliana is yours. And I'm like, fuck, dude, you went to a fucking psychic? I don't even believe in psychics, you know? I actually despise psychics, tell you the truth. I don't like tell I don't like listening to somebody tell me that's what your future is going to be like. I don't fucking like psychics. I don't believe in them. And I really don't give a fuck what you say, you know, hey, this is your future. You know, so I'm like telling Sam, I'm kind of getting aggravated here and I'm like telling her, I'm like, I can't believe you went to a fucking psychic just to, you know, for your proof of evidence to say that that child is mine. You know, after, you know, several years or whatnot, I've been asking you, and you keep on denying it, saying no, right? So I'm like, whatever, you know? She starts contacting my brother, and my brother's like, yeah, dude, you need to take care of this shit. This lady's contacting me saying that you got a child, you know? I'm like, fuck, dude. So, it big, you know, big pebble starts making a big splash in a small pond. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. I'm, I started paying attention, and I started getting into it, and I started looking at the pictures, and I'm like, yes, yeah, you do have resemblance as far as the eyes and the nose go, um, but I'm not for certain, you know. So, we, uh, I'm just going through a lot of fucking emotional shit right now because I know this is the, uh, the end of my rope. And when you get to that end of the rope, you got to tie a knot and hold on. And you guys are actually experiencing, like, the reality shit of November 22nd. I'm sorry, November 21st, 2010. You're actually experiencing me getting off of work right now. I'm barely getting off of work. You know what I mean? I put in a half day from 6 to 11. I didn't want to, you know, get the results of the paternity test and find out that the child is mine and go another four hours at work, you know. I wanted to be at home where I can actually, you know, get some fucking air. I know I'm smoking right now. It's funny, but what I mean is just get the fuck out of that cubicle because there's so much shit going through my head right now. Um, well, me and Sam started talking, and I told her, you know, I'm willing to take a paternity test. At first, it was very crazy. Um, and I was about to tell that child, you know, hey, Sam, you got to go through the court system because I'm not going to abide by this shit. You got to go through the courts because I'm, I'm going to go for my dream and I'm going to continue doing what I do until I make it. And that's about it. But then I started thinking, I'm like, fuck, dude, what if I do make it in the end? And, uh. And she, that child has no father, you know? I started really thinking deep to that, down inside. I'm like, well, it would be like almost impossible for her to contact her father if I was a celebrity or if I was, you know, a famous film director or famous music artist or something like that. Um, and that child would just be questioning for the rest of her entire life if that was my dad. You know, and I don't want that, you know? So I, there's a good side of me. And deep down inside, there's a really good fucking heart, you know. Um, so I, I said, you know, fuck this court system. Let's do it civil then. And Samantha was totally agreeable of doing it civil. So I said, okay, well, let's schedule a paternity test. So we started talking, and you know, she became a friend. We started talking again, and I kind of bonded with Ellie. I got the baby picture, you know, her pictures now, but a couple weeks, you know, a week and a half ago, I met her. I picked her up. She was kind of like a stranger and everything like that, but, um, and she thought I was a stranger, but me and Sam went to uh, a clinic last week, last Friday, 
and they swabbed her and they swabbed me and this is the DNA paternity test to see if she's my child so they said the results were going to be in this Thursday next week next Thursday today's Thursday and uh, I had to document it because it's my tea um, I have to document this shit dude I'm gonna call you know the paternity test right now on camera you guys are gonna see if this child is mine or not no I shouldn't be drinking or anything like that I shouldn't be smoking but you gotta think on a man's perspective like this is pretty fucking hardcore I didn't get the nine months to prepare myself to become a father it was just a flicker on the lights, man. That's what it that's what it felt like. It's like, here, let me knock on your door, and there's a baby in a basket. Here you go. This is your father. I think any man out there would definitely trip out and say, Whoa, what's going on here? You know? It's a big change. It's not just a fucking tran it's not a transition, it's a cut too. That's what it is. It's a cut to the next life. It's a cut to the beginning. It's just an on and off. That's what I feel. A light switch just turning on and saying, okay, you got a new life now. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to grow up and you're going to have to take responsibility for this child. This is your child by blood. So we're going to find out. I have the card right here and I'm going to call and I'm going to put it on speakerphone. And we're going to find out if this child is actually mine. And uh, we're going to do that right now, okay? I'm going to take a pee break real quick, but I will be back to... It's it's big step, dude. It's a big step in your life, man. We're back. Shit. We're back, dude. I'm gonna call right now. The big T. Joey, your life's gonna change after in one hour your life will change. Can you believe that shit? It's a 50-50 chance, dude. I am willing to take responsibility for this child and I'm willing to love it with all my heart because it is my own blood. My family is in love with the, the child already. She's the most adorable thing ever. She's the prettiest little baby you've ever, ever seen. I swear to God. It's hard not to fall in love with this child. And I think I have been emotionally attached. Um, so it's going to be hard if she's not mine. But at the same time, it is a catch-22 because I do... I focus on what I want to I want to do in life, you know. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it big, dude. And I don't give a fuck about being a celebrity or being this. My dream is to be successful at what I do. You know what I went to school for. My dream is to, you know, produce, direct, write, act write music, compile, you know, all that special effects, everything, dude. I want to do all that shit. I want to make music. I want to perform. It's kind of hard when you got a baby and you can't, you can't put and invest 10,000 hours of practice. You can't invest all that time into becoming the person that you want to be. You have to invest time into her or your child. You know, and raise them because you have to put them first. I want you to know this. You know, it's it's going to be hard on me, but it might be a wake up call. It might be good. It might actually get me there faster. I might be more responsible and say, "Hey, I have to fucking make it now." Who knows? We're gonna find out. And it's time to call now. Okay. We're calling All Test International Paternity Testing. So we're going to put it on speakerphone right now.
And you guys are going to get the... You guys are going to actually get the good shit. Are you ready? Are you ready for your life to change, Joe? Obviously, it's not changing, but... Okay. You know you're gonna be the coolest dad in the world. You're gonna be a fucking rock star dad, dude. She's gonna be like, Did you know my fucking dad's a fucking rock star? Oh yeah, he makes like fucking some of the best music in the world. She's gonna have rock star blood, dude. My Uncle John had it. Hell yeah. I got, I got proof. But we are calling now. You guys ready? Are you ready for this? <sighs> Stop. Hello? Thanks for calling all tests. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I just, uh, I wanted to get results. Uh, for the test I took last week. Okay, was it personal or legal? Uh, it wasn't legal, it was civil. And your last name? It's Gutierrez, G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. First name? Joseph. Case. Was it a legal case? Mm -hmm. It was a legal case. Yeah. I didn't know it was a legal case. I thought it was a civil. And you are the father of Eliana. Uh, Eliana? Eliana, sorry. So I am. Yeah. Um. Can you give me more information? I can send you a copy of the test. That would be great. Okay. Uh, your email address? It's uh, K I N. D L E S T Y L E S J C G at Yahoo dot com. Okay, I'll get it right over. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm a father, dude. Holy shit! Your life's a, your life changed. This is Eliana's new room. <laughs> I can't be smoking in this house anymore, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna love that baby. I'm gonna take care of her. She's mine, dude. What do I do next? What happens next, dude? I gotta call my mom. I know my mom wanted to talk.
They always say call the mom first. I got a lot of growing up to do. A lot of growing up to do, man. Wow. Wow. I'm not picking up. My mom didn't pick up. So now I gotta call my dad. You ready? Well, now my mom's calling me back. No reason why you can't be a cool dad. I love you, Ellie. It's my mom, dude. She's not picking up right now. She got signals going this way and that way. Cause I just called her. She didn't pick up, so she just called me back, and I missed the call. As I was calling my father. I think I do want to call my mom first. I know my dad's willing to accept this child. Like there's no tomorrow. So we'll call my mom one more time. If we can't reach her, then we're going to call my dad. Hello? Hey, Mom. Yeah, me, huh? Uh, did you get the results? No, you were supposed to call me. Yeah, you're the first call. Oh. And guess what? She's mine. You're kidding. Yep. Oh my gosh, Mingo, you're a daddy. I know. Well, congratulations. Woohoo! Big step, oh. huh? Huh? I said big step. Yeah. What do I do next? What, Mingo? What do I do next? Do you think I should take some time, like take the day off a little bit? Well, I, I thought you did take the day off. I did take the day off, but do you think I should just kind of like vent a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think you should, you know, go go to a park or go, go home and lay down and, you know. I should probably yeah. go visit, huh? I should probably go see her. Huh? I should probably go see her, huh? She's with her mom. Her mom called the day off, so I should probably spend some time with her today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that. All right, Mom, just telling you the news. Yeah, I think you, got, you, should, take, you should go to the park. Okay. Yeah, see if, if uh, I don't know, what Samantha probably won't let you take her by yourself, huh? She's going to let me take her tomorrow. Okay. Um, so we already discussed that. She has to work tomorrow, so of course I'm going to be responsible and everything like that. For the whole day? Um, yeah, for the whole day. So I'll make sure I take her to your house and everything like that. Okay. You know, so I'm just, just going to pick her up in the morning? Uh, yeah. We're going to work something out. Okay. That sounds fun. Well, let Francine know what's going on because Francine wanted to come over and, and do all kinds of stuff, but you know, I, I think you should just rest. You're, we're going to see you tomorrow, but I think Francine decided because she has a day off. Yeah, if she has a day off today? Yeah, Francine does. Well, then Francine can come over and they can they all come over to my house. Okay. So, that's probably, what are you doing in, today? Um, not m much. I mean, uh, no, I'm not doing much. Do you guys want to? 
I'm gonna right. talk. I, I still, I'm just barely getting all this news because I just called the paternity test right now, and so. Um, How are you? Well, they said you are the father, so. I mean, it's a good thing, mom. Yeah. You know. It's time to grow up. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, congratulations. I think it's 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 great. Yeah. It's exciting. It is exciting. Mm-hmm. So, um, ask Samantha what she had planned to do because she took the day off, so. I know. Do you um, think I should call? I'm going to call my dad, and then I'll, I'll probably call, uh, I'm going to call Franny, and then I'll call Sam. Okay, Mel. All right, Mom. Love you. I love you too. I'm so proud of you. Alright, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, we're gonna call my dad now. My dad wanted to hear. Mom, Dad, Franny, Sam. Hello? Watch. Hello? Hi, Miko. Hey, Dad, you gotta speak up. Huh? You gotta speak up. Why? Because I got you on speakerphone. You got me in what? I got you on speakerphone. On the speaker? Yeah. When? Right now, on the phone, right now. I got you on speakerphone. Oh, okay. Hey, guess what? What? You got a granddaughter. I told you. <laughs> then you're gonna block me. <laughs> your face. Yeah, I just called right now, and they uh, they told me that she was mine. I know it's yours, Miko. Well, she's mine. Blood. I see her, okay? Huh? I wanna see her. You're gonna see her this Thanksgiving. We're gonna drive up there. Okay. Uh, call Joey. I mean, call uh, Frankie. And they told me right now and they told me that I heard from you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm calling everybody right now. I'm telling everybody. Oh good, okay. Uh, congratulations. Thanks, Dad. I'm proud. I'm proud of you, Mivo. Thank you. <laughs> the tea just became one. You better be your father. You're funny, Dad. You got a granddaughter now. Take care of her, okay? I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to take real good care of her. Yeah, good. good. I want to see her, okay? We're going up there this Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm waiting for the day. Yep. But she looks like me, too. She does look like you as a little baby, so... <laughs> it's a pretty little baby, too. Can you talk to your mom? I just called her right now. You're the second phone what call. She just said, congratulations, your father. I know. You want to take her over there. Take the baby to your mom. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, we're going to see what's going on. I just got home, you know, so I'm going to kind of, I'm just kind of venting out all the bad energy right now, so. Okay. Well, celebrate it, but you don't get drunk and drive. No, I'm not, I'm not drinking. Well, I just drank two beers. Is that all right? Yeah, but don't, don't drive when you're yeah, I know. I'm dead. I'm more responsible than that. Yeah, I know. Remember that. License and all that, you know. Yeah, exactly. No, I'll wait. Like, They're probably going to come over here. I probably don't even have to drive anywhere, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nico. Thanks. All right, Dad. I love you. I love you, and I'm going to wait for you, okay? Okay. We're, uh, we're going to be up there this Thanksgiving. I'm going to bring the... I'm going to bring Eliana. Okay. Okay. Lady too. <laughs> All right, Dad. Okay, bye. All right, bye. I love you. I love you too. All right, dude. I think Franny's next. I drank two beers. I just because I need to get the shakes out. Hey, what's up? Nothing. We're on our way to mom's house to meet grandma. Oh, did you get the results? No, what's up? She's mine. She is? 
Joey. Oh, yeah. Oh, the baby's Joey. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to bring her over? I don't know what's happening yet. I got to call Sam. Call her. I already talked to her and she's, um, she's already ready. She's already I was, I was waiting to talk to you. Oh, she's ready for what? To come meet us. Oh. She I just called. I just called mom right now. Mom, I guess Dermot my mom's waiting for you to call her. No, I just called mom right now. She was the oh, first phone know. call. She's what? Tell grandma that mom was the first phone call. I already talked to her. She already knows. Well, no, um, mom's getting ready. Okay. Well, I'm so. gonna I'm gonna call Sam, and we're gonna we're gonna plan things out. And we're gonna see what's going on. Okay, we're ready to meet her. So bring her over to my mom, and we're gonna go out to lunch. Who's paying for uh, brunch? We will. Cause I'm broke. I know. I had to buy tapes today, cause I'm documenting, you know, documenting what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Bring her over. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Yeah, these tapes are no joke, dude. I had to, I had to buy these tapes so I can. You know, kind of document what I'm doing in life. This is the point, dude. I mean, it's not every day you get to see some shit like this, but it was 29 bucks, 30 bucks, and I only had 100. What does it say? 100 and 112 dollars in the bank, dude. I had to buy a tape, cigarettes, and beer. <laughs> All right, Sam, we're gonna call you. Samantha. I like to call her L.A. as a reminder. Eliana. L.A. Ellie. Tomato, tomato. Reminds me. Hello. 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 Hey, I just called the, uh... Clinic right now. Did you? Yeah, did you call him? Uh huh. Yep, she's mine. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I told you. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> You're on speakerphone right now, and I'm documenting this on the uh, camcorder. Are you? Yeah, so you're famous right now. You are. You're going to be a star. You, you want to talk to Ellie? Yeah, let me talk to Ellie. Okay. Ellie, talk to Daddy. Talk to Daddy. Hello? Hello? Is she sleeping? Ellie? She doesn't want to because she's cranky. Oh, she just wake up from a nap? Um, she needs to go for a nap. Mm. We just got done eating lunch. What'd you guys eat? We had um, some chicken and rice and green beans. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody wants to meet her. They're dying to meet her. Oh, okay. And I think my mom's taking us out to eat. I think my mom's taking us out to eat. Yeah, have you talked to my sister yet? Have I? Yeah. Yes. Um, did she say anything, like, you know, what we should do? Um, she, she said that she's ready and that she doesn't care what we do. Um, she just wants us here. Yeah, what's going on with your work today? Uh, well, I told them that I had a family emergency, so my mom still hasn't called me, um, about her getting out of the um, procedure and all that stuff, so. Okay. Um, what are our plans today? Um, I'm going to do whatever you're wanting to do. I'm going to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so, um, I'm kind of like, you know, whatever you want right now. It's kind of well, hard for me to, you know, I, got, I, I definitely want to see Aliana. 
I want her. I want her to meet my family. Um, I just don't know. Um, you know what we're gonna do. Well, let's just go with the flow. Like your sister was saying that um, we could probably do lunch um, and then like hang out at your mom's for a little bit. Um, Are you ready? Am I? Yeah. You ready to do all that right now? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you have the car seats. Did you want to pick me up or did you want me to meet you? Because how where where is your mama? She lives on uh, Cooper and Ray. Okay, so how about then? Right next, right next to Famous Sam's. <laughs> okay, how about then we go out your way so that you don't have to drive all the way over here? Uh, that sounds good. Okay. I mean, it works both uh, ways. I it doesn't matter if I meet you or you meet me. I just got done drinking two beers. Yeah, I kind of needed it before I called, you know. Right, because you, you were nervous, right? I was nervous as shit, you know. Yeah. But, okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, when me and Ellie called, right, it was like, I already knew that she was yours, but it still got me, like, all excited because, you know, you would be hearing the same thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And so... I, I grabbed her and I was like, yay, daddy's your daddy. And uh, we were like jumping up and down and we got all excited and she was going, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> she had no idea what was going on. But. Yeah, well, she's definitely going to know because I'm documenting this and she can watch it when she's older. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, you are on camera right now. I know. Yeah, so... Just watch what you say. <laughs> we're trying to raise, we're trying to raise her right. <laughs> oh man! Wow. All right. So why, um, why don't you stop over here? And then I, you know what? Call me before you go, cause I'm gonna record her coming out. Okay. Um. Why don't you? Why don't you call? I'm gonna give her a bathrobe. Yeah. Eating. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna then, take a shower too and get you know, just get ready for the day. Um, uh -huh. But give me a call before you stop by so I can like actually record the whole entire process of her getting out. You know, actually meeting her father for like not I don't want to say the first time, but you know, by test official. results as far like as that. Official. Yeah, the official would be cool. Uh huh. Okay. So. Let me, I'll probably be done with everything with her by like 110. That's cool. Take your time. There's okay. no rush. We got all, we got an eternity right here. <laughs> 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 so. Okay. Well, I'm going to get her ready and then we'll see you in a bit. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. All right, bye. All right, should we read some of these texts before I call my brother? I have a bunch of them. I don't know if I can throw that in macro. It's already full. It's saying message full. Okay, so the first text is from my sister-in-law, Shannon. When do you get the news? Uh, wasn't it posted today sometime? And that was at 10.20. Franny call me. Dude, I already took a shower. Once you find out, call us. Um, call us all. We can meet you. Okay, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yay. That's what she texts. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but... Let's see, macro mode. That's my sister's text. Shower once we find, call us so we can uh, meet her, keeping my fingers crossed. So my sister's in love with this child. She was in love with this child before um, anything. My other sister, Isabel, text. Any news yet? Let's go to the next text. Shannon. Any news yet? 
Okay. Francine's text. I'm not I'm reading this. I'm going to pick up Grandma and take her to Mom's house. Then we're waiting on your phone call. We all want to go to lunch. So call Samantha when you find out. And call us. They're anxious to meet the baby. Okay, so that's the news. Let me call my brother and then that's it, dude. My brother Frank. Dude, I'm a fucking dad, yo. Frank's out picking up. Alright. I think we're done, dude. We told everybody's going to eventually find out. So, I think we're good. Your life, dude, you went down the other path and you got, you got a daughter to raise now, man. Eliana, if you're looking at this video right now, this is your f This is your father. <laughs> this is your new room. I gotta clear all this shit out. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking treat you like a princess. You better believe that. I'm gonna get you anything you want. You know, daddy's gonna get it for you. Daddy's gonna make it. Daddy's gonna buy you anything you want. So that's how the story goes. And I don't want you I don't want you to be greedy, you know, I don't want you to be spoiled, a spoiled little brat, you know what I mean? I want to treat you and I want to raise you right to the point where you actually give too. You actually have a heart, just like I did, you know? I want you to follow my footsteps. You know, do what, you know, do what's right, that's all I ask. Do what's right, be a good citizen. You know, be an angel, you know, become an angel that you are. You know, discover that you are an angel. Treat people right. For crying out loud, you were born on, de on December 25th. You know, you're a Jesus baby. So, God's watching you. I'm watching you. You just make sure that you, uh, you know, you do, you do what's right. Don't, you know, don't mess up. You know I don't want you to mess up. You're going to fall a couple of times, but I want you to pick your ass back up and just keep on climbing that mountain until you're number one. That's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to do. Okay? Um, you're going to pick up a lot of stuff from me. You're definitely going to be raised right, but now I got I to gotta, I gotta abide by my dream and you come first, you know that. In my life, you gonna come first now. I have to take care of you. So, you're gonna help me get there. And I'm gonna have to push myself now. I'm gonna have to push myself to make it. To become, you know, I love you with all my heart. I wrote that song for you, Dios Contestos. There's a brick in the road. There's a lot of there's a lot of meaning behind that. I'll actually play that for you right now. I gotta go pee too, so um, we are not wasting film. This film can go on forever, so you can watch wherever you want to watch. Uh, but Ellie, I wrote this song for you.
a song I wrote before I knew she was mine. We're sorry, the number you have reached is not in the Please check the number or try your call again. And this is a rock star look right there. You know, going like that. All right. Do you want to go rock star or do we want to go director? Why can't we be both? Rock star director. All right, dude. Let me just kind of show you around Ellie's room. Because this is going to be Ellie's room. I'm going to put all this shit in the... Uh, in the living room right now. Well, not right now, but we got a lot of work to do. Lots of work to do. But you're growing up, Joe. This is my living room. I was getting the hot dog suit ready because uh, Samantha's taking Eliana to uh, Schnupp's farm. It's her first Halloween, and I was gonna, I was gonna be a hot dog. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what the freak, dude? My dad, nerd, man, he's a hot dog. Hell yeah, dude. But I'm a rock star nerd if you wanna, if you wanna do it that way. Do play a lot of music. Dude, Ellie is gonna be raised like this. She's gonna be raised rocking it, hardcore. But this is my bedroom. You know, it's kind of messy right now. Of course, I wasn't expecting guests. 
I got one minute on this tape. I can't believe I recorded already for 60 minutes. It's already been an hour. This is my uh, my bathroom. Of course, that's gonna have to change. Well, not too much. At least you know she's going to dad's house, but I do have to start being a little bit more appropriate when it comes to things. I got 28 seconds on this film. Kitchen, everything looks good. We're gonna use a second tape for the introduction of meeting my daughter and Tess for the first time. My backyard, this is what I could afford for right now, but it works, you know. Take you out to the front yard real quick. There's um, 59 seconds remaining. There's my car and there's some fucking cat. I don't even know who the cat is. This is the house I live in, the duplex 105. My neighborhood. Love this neighborhood. We're gonna walk across the streets and get a better view of where I live. It's a good ass neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. Okay, we're running out of film, dude. So this is what I do, I park, I walk over here, I think this door is locked. The house cut in half to duplex. I used to live there, I moved out, I live here now. It's my brother's, my uh, family duplex, it's locked. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the backyard real quick. Go back in the house. Looks like it's still recording. We're good.